Welcome back to what's new in UBM 1.2. Today we will cover some major changes that have been made to the uh, reporting infrastructure in UVM. And this is actually one of the bigger changes in UVM 1.2. So the, the biggest change here is that reporting is now completely object oriented. And you can see that from the uh, UVM 1.2 class reference. You've got uh, the UVM report message class and then we've got uh, UVM report message element element classes. So uh, let's just go ahead and jump into the example so we can see uh, what the changes are. So in this basic example we've got a component inside an agent inside a test and uh, all most of the interesting logic is over here in this run phase uh, where uh, we go ahead and report out two messages. So, like I mentioned, the um, the messaging system is is now object oriented, right? So we can do things like this: UVM report message, and then we can use the factory to create a message. And of course, when you use the factory, that means these messages can be overridden or customized even further. And then, since it's an object, you know, it has a bunch of methods. I just list a few here, like setting severity, setting the ID, uh, the actual message, uh, verbosity. And another new feature is actually being able to add elements. So this includes integer strings and objects to your messages. And when you add an element like this, here we add an integer. Um, they all they go into this element container. So you can add it directly from a message, or you can actually get the element container and add them directly to the element container. So here um, I add a string to the element container and then uh, I add an object over here. Uh, so another thing to mention is um, messages can now be recorded using the recording system that was uh, previously only used for transactions but now can be used for messages as well. Um, this call over here um, I simply uh, get uh, a recorder, a UVM recorder from the config DB and it was uh, configured earlier and the messages are recorded like this message.record this is um, the same thing that you would do for for other UVM objects and because message is now an uh, extension of UVM objects that means you can record it as well and then if you're using um, you know uh, the methods like this without the macros then you'd call something like this UVM process report message to actually print the message out, standard out, or wherever it's going. So here's one message. So this is an example of one message. And now we're going to do the very similar, but using macros instead. Um, so there's these new macros that have been added, which are um, you know, basically surrounding similar uh, as, you, as you would have for these uh, UVM component, ut component details, you've got the begin and end macros, and they surround these element macros where you, you add different elements. So in this example, actually create another message and pass it to the first macro, but this does not have to be passed. Uh, you'd only want to pass it in if, if you're overriding macros. If you don't pass anything here, it'll actually just uh, use a, a default macro. And then we've got these these new uh, UVM message macros such as add tag, which is exactly the same as add string. And then you've got add int and add object. Uh, so before I run it, I'm going to go ahead and circle back and just show this uh, how I set up this UVM recorder. And this is uh, another area of new functionality that will be uh, explained in the new in the later video. This is basically uh, using a uh, transaction database. Um, that's basically writing out to a file, and then, and then this re this re UVM recorder simply gets put in the UVM config DB, and that's how it's being extracted extracted here in this component. Um, so another thing to mention here is when we add the object, the object is actually over here, and the object just has uh, two internal fields A and B. One is a, a integer, the other one is a string. So let's go ahead and run this code just so we can see what the output is. So we report two messages here, one over here and one that actually gets reported down here. So we should see two messages. 
Uh, so the first message is uh, basically matches what we have over here. It's uh, has my ID one. It's called my warning message, and it's got uh, an integer, a string, and the object. And you can see the reporting is very similar to what you get when you call um, dot print or dot sprint on on the object. So it's very similar looking formatting. And then the second message is the info message that we re we reported using macros. So once again, it looks like this. So one more thing we want to try is uh, the recording. Uh, re the recording has been dumped to a file, so we can then go ahead and download the files just so we can see um, that these messages have been recorded. So we're rerunning here just so these uh, files get generated. So we're going to open up the, the results and the file is actually mydb.txt so we're going to open that up and as you can see it, it uses the recording terminology here um, that, that would be used for transaction recording as well. Uh, okay so these are the major changes and a couple other things I wanted to cover is that um, there's been some cleanup in UVM so everything now uses reporting objects so previously uh, some users had issues because there were the dollar display statements in some some classes and uh, they couldn't redirect the output so now everything is using using objects and these display statements have been removed uh, another thing to mention is that the UVM report server can now be extended completely so if you look in the uh, class reference in the UV UVM report uh, report server. Now most of these methods are now virtual or pure virtual so they can be overridden. Uh, so one final thing to mention is that you can still use the classic UVM info macros. So all this object oriented stuff and these new macros there are new additions. You can still uh, go ahead and use uh, the ones that you've been using before UVM info, warning, etc. They'll still work.